Hi, it's Lindsay from Buy, Sell, Love, Durham. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Tuesday morning market update. It's my opportunity weekly to share with Durham Region just what's happening with real estate. Now, on last Thursday for, for our um, Thanksgiving, we did a, an event where we invited clients into our house. And part of the event was we fed them and gave them some, some drinks. But what they did was they gave us a donation, a food donation for the Simcoe Hall Settlement House. Now I'm standing here with Emily Whitlarge, who's the executive director of uh, the Simcoe Hall Settlement House. Hey, Emily. Hey, Lindsay. Thanks so much for having me. Okay, so a um, thousand pounds of food. Yeah. What does that do for your food bank? It's significant. It's a huge help. Um, we're experiencing an all-time low in donations right now through the food bank and other parts of the agency as well. And uh, I mean, that would pose as a, as a problem or a challenge on any given day, but especially now because we are seeing more clients than ever before. Our numbers continue to rise month, month over month. So those food products, those food items that were donated, it's going to go a long way in helping to address food insecurity. So I guess my question, to be blunt, is how bad are things right now? Oh gosh, they're bad. Um, and when I say that, I mean, we're doing the best that we can with the resources that we do have on hand. And we really do appreciate all of the support of our community partners, such as yourself and Wendy from Buy, Sell, Love, Durham. Um, but you know what? The challenges are continuing. Like I said, we're seeing more clients as the holidays start to approach and the cooler weather starts to set in as well. I think we're going to anticipate even more clients than ever before. We were averaging about 1,200 clients per month, I would say, in the past six Six to eight months um, that was you know kind of the ongoing number and now we're seeing upwards of 2,000 clients that are being serviced through our food bank and the food hampers that are going out so um, I guess my question then would be what is it you need do you need food other items what's the most important yeah. thing that because we get five to ten thousand people a week watching these videos if you could give a message to them as to what they could drop off Sure, that's fantastic. We appreciate all um, all of the support and resources that can be offered, but specific items include canned meats, proteins, um, legumes, peanut butter, jam. We're always looking for pasta and pasta sauce, something that used to actually be um, in abundance. If you were to walk into our food bank, you would see so much pasta, so much pasta sauce, but now we've run completely low. We're almost out at times. Personal hygiene products, deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, razors things that you and I would use on an ongoing basis and kind of just assume that are available but unfortunately are not <laughs> thank you so much and I'm gonna ask everybody who's watching this to please help out in any way I'll so let's just jump straight into the numbers in the last seven days we've had 161 homes come to market that's newly listed for sale that's down 16 from the week before but remember we had a long weekend in there which tends to slow things down conditionally sold we've had 60 homes leave the market sold conditionally and we've had 118 homes leave the market sold firm. So coincidentally, we actually had 41 more houses sold in the last seven days than we did the prior week, even though we had the long weekend in it. So it's kind of interesting. The buyers are out there buying and the sellers decided to take uh, the weekend off and not list their houses for sale. So we're seeing a dip in amount of active listings for sale and a rise in the amount of buyers that are actually getting sold signs on property. If you've got any questions, I can be reached at 905 area code 743-5555. You can catch me at the email address at the bottom of the screen and do your best to support Emily and the Simcoe Hall Settlement House. Such a great resource for our community.